SolidWorks allows you to add edge flanges to curved edges. There are just a couple of rules you have to keep in mind. The curved edge you wish to add the flange to must be on a planar face. And if you want to select multiple edges for the flange, the edges must be tangent. Let me show you what I mean. To get started, I'll click the Edge Flange icon. When the Property Manager appears, I'll select the curved edge and give the flange some length. At this point, I can add the edge that's tangent to the curved edge, but I cannot add either of the other edges since they are not tangent. If I try to add either of them, SolidWorks will prompt me that this is not possible. I would have to add flanges to these edges in a separate edge flange feature. Just like with any other edge flange, I can specify an angle for the bend, and can adjust the length and direction. I can also control the flange position, such as choosing, material inside, material outside, bend outside, bend from virtual sharp, and tangent to bend. For this example, I'll use material outside, and you can see the result. You can also see the relief that's being added to the flange, which is the default relief type specified in the original sheet metal feature. Now, if you don't want a relief on a bend like this, you can accomplish this by activating the Custom Relief Type section and choosing No Relief from the drop-down. I'll click OK, and the flange is complete. The part can be folded and unfolded, just like any other sheet metal part. 